Life in prison with the possibility of parole. That is the sentence handed down to a Big Island woman for the murder of former rodeo champion Casey Smith. Lynn Kawano takes us inside the Hilo Courthouse. Taking Casey's young life at 21 years shortchanged her, cheated her family and the world. Emma Chong described her daughter Casey Smith as loving and generous, but she believes that generosity eventually led to the 21-year-old's murder at the hands of Patricia Wong in 2009. Smith inherited a large amount of money after her father's death, and she and Wong opened a joint bank account months before the murder. Ms. Wong manipulated and groomed Casey to believe the lies that came out of Ms. Wong's mouth. The last thing Casey said to me before her death was, I think people are using me for my money. Wong shot and killed Smith in her Orchid Land home, then staged it to look like a suicide with the help of co-defendant Peter Fuerte. He made a deal with prosecutors and pleaded guilty to lesser charges in exchange for his testimony. It's only fair that Patricia Wong wakes up in prison every day for the rest of her life. Guilty as charged. Back in November, jurors found Wong guilty of murder, attempted murder, conspiracy, and solicitation. But she maintains her innocence. I'm not going to admit to something I didn't do. And I know God is in my heart. So I do ever more so over Casey. And I loved her like my own. So whatever they think I did, I didn't do it. So that's all I have to say. Judge Henry Nakamoto decided that Wong's sentence of life with the possibility of parole for murder and attempted murder will run concurrently. And he added an additional 20 years for the other counts. At 62 years old, Wong will likely spend the rest of her life behind bars. Every holiday, birthday and family gathering, Casey's absence is prominent. The incomprehensible grief, sorrow and loss my family Community and I suffered all at the hands of Ms. Wong. My daughter's blood is on her hands. I'm Lynn Kawano, Hawaii News Now.